Glassboro, New Jersey. Could it be that a meeting in this homely setting will make the world a safer place for us all? Until recently, Glassboro was just a dot on the map. Then suddenly the world focused on it. Two men, both with enormous power, decided to meet here and talk, exchange views for peace in a troubled world. So with the arrival of President Johnson, history came to the little hamlet 15 miles from the city of Philadelphia. Far from the White House and much further from the Kremlin, President Johnson and Mr. Kosygin had at last met. Hollybush, a modest Victorian villa, home of the president of Glassboro State College, had suddenly become a summit meeting place. In spite of the mantle of security, which immediately settled around the house, the atmosphere of homeliness could not be destroyed. Lunchtime talk included the Middle East crisis, Vietnam, and closer links between the two powerful nations. Away from the corridors of power, it seemed both could talk like friends. Outside, the world waited. At last they appeared, two men with the weight of world problems on their shoulders, but looking relaxed like men who had enjoyed a good lunch and a useful chat. President Johnson confirmed this. He told the people of Glassboro and the press of the world that the talks had led to progress for better understanding. Mr. Kosygin showed his approval for the way things had gone. For all of us, this friendly gesture was a welcome sign indeed. Let us hope that Glassboro may earn the name the home of peace.